Imagine a major disaster strikes your city. You live in an apartment. What do you do? This isn't a hypothetical for millions of people. It's a very real question that needs practical, actionable answers. That's why we're here today. Welcome to a comprehensive look at apartment prepping, a guide for surviving when SHTF in small spaces. This video is all about equipping you with the knowledge you need to navigate the unique challenges and opportunities that come with apartment living during major crises. We'll cover everything from the pros and cons of apartment living in a SHTF situation to the essential supplies you'll need for long-term survival. Plus, we'll share tips on surviving different types of disasters and even additional ways to use your limited space effectively. So buckle up, get comfortable, and let's dive right in. Stay tuned as we delve into the ins and outs of apartment prepping. Living in an apartment during a disaster can actually have some advantages. It may seem counterintuitive, but hear me out. You'll find that the unique characteristics of apartment living can play to your advantage during SHTF scenarios. One of the main advantages is community proximity. When you're living in an apartment, you have quick access to your neighbors. This can be a lifeline in a disaster situation. You have a built-in support network right next door. In times of crisis, there's strength in numbers. Having a community around can help you pool resources, share information, and provide mutual aid. Next, let's consider security. An apartment typically has fewer entry points, which means it's easier to secure. You don't have a vast perimeter to fortify like you would with a house. You can focus your efforts on reinforcing doors and windows, making your living space a veritable fortress. Now let's talk about resource sharing. In an apartment complex, there's potential for pooling resources like water, food, and energy. If you're in good terms with your neighbors and have previously discussed emergency plans, you could share resources and responsibilities. For instance, one apartment could be designated for storing water, another for food, and yet another for medical supplies. This strategy not only maximizes space but also fosters a sense of community resilience. Finally, the compact nature of apartment living means you'll have to be smart and efficient with your space. This can actually be a benefit, forcing you to prioritize and focus on the essentials, keeping only what you need. It's an exercise in minimalism and efficiency, which can be valuable skills in any survival situation. So, apartment living isn't all doom and gloom during a disaster. With the right mindset, planning, and cooperation, you can turn what may seem like disadvantages into strengths. As we always say, preparation today ensures survival tomorrow. There's no reason why apartment dwellers can't be just as prepared and resilient as those with larger living spaces. It's all about adapting to your environment and making the most of what you have. However, there are also some challenges that come with apartment living in a disaster. Let's delve into some of these challenges. First up, space is often at a premium in apartments. The limited room for storing supplies can be a major hurdle. Imagine having to cram all your emergency essentials like water, food, medical supplies, and other survival gear into a one or two bedroom apartment. It's a bit like playing a never ending game of Tetris, but with potentially life saving consequences. Next, let's talk about dependency on building infrastructure. In a SHTF scenario, there's a high chance that utilities such as water and power will be interrupted. As an apartment dweller, you are heavily reliant on these systems. If the water stops running or the power goes out, you could be left high and dry. This dependency can leave you vulnerable, making it essential to have contingency plans in place. Finally, we need to consider the high-density nature of apartment living. In a crisis situation, being in close proximity to so many people can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, there's the potential for community support and resource sharing. On the other hand, the risk of disease spread or targeted violence can increase in densely populated urban settings. But let's not forget, High density also means more competition for resources. If everyone in your building or complex is scrambling for the same supplies, things can get dicey pretty quickly. It's critical to weigh these risks and plan accordingly. In summary, the challenges of apartment living in a SHTF situation include limited space for supplies, dependency on building infrastructure, and high population density. These challenges can seem daunting, but they are not insurmountable. With careful planning and preparation, you can mitigate these risks and be ready to face whatever comes your way. Being aware of these challenges will allow you to better prepare for them. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about the potential challenges you might face, the better prepared you'll be to handle them. So stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe. Different disasters require different survival strategies. 
And in an apartment setting, these strategies need to be tailored to the unique challenges and opportunities your living space provides. Let's start with grid failures. These can happen due to a wide range of reasons, from natural disasters to cyber attacks. The key here is having energy alternatives. Solar chargers are a great option, capturing the sun's power during the day to keep your essential electronics running. Battery backups are also vital, providing a reliable power source when you need it most. Next, we have natural disasters. These can be anything from hurricanes to earthquakes, and they can strike without warning. The best defense is a good offense. Secure heavy furniture to walls to prevent it from toppling over during an earthquake. For storms, have a plan for sealing windows and doors against wind and rain. Now let's tackle civil unrest or war scenarios. These situations can be unpredictable and dangerous. The first step is to reinforce your apartment. Strong doors and locks can make a big difference. And don't forget about having an emergency evacuation plan. Knowing multiple exit routes from your building can be a lifesaver if you need to leave in a hurry. But what about supplies? It's not just about having enough food and water. You also need to think about medical supplies, communication tools, and multi-purpose tools. These items can make a huge difference in a disaster scenario. And finally, don't forget about the mental aspect of survival. Staying calm and composed can be just as important as having the right supplies. Practice mindfulness techniques and keep a positive mindset. By preparing for these scenarios, you can increase your chances of survival. Remember, the time to prepare is now, not when disaster strikes. With the right planning and preparation, you can turn your apartment into a fortress, ready to withstand any disaster. Because when it comes to survival, every second counts. Surviving in an apartment during a disaster requires some essential supplies. Having the right tools on hand can make all the difference when it comes to staying safe and self-sufficient. So let's dive into what you'll need. First up, water filtration and storage solutions. Because tap water might not always be safe or available, it's important to have a way to purify and store drinking water. Compact water filters like portable pump filters or straw-style filters are great for this. And for storage, collapsible water containers can save space when they're not in use. Next, let's talk food. You'll want to stock up on non-perishable items that are high in calories and nutrients. Think canned goods, freeze-dried meals, and energy bars. Remember, you're not just eating to fill your stomach, you're eating to fuel your body. Moving on to healthcare, a well-stocked first aid and hygiene kit is a must. This should include basics like bandages and antiseptic as well as any prescription medications you might need. And don't forget about hygiene items like hand sanitizer and wet wipes. Staying clean can help prevent illness and infection. In terms of communication, having the means to receive updates about the outside world is crucial. This could be a crank radio for local news or even a satellite phone for emergencies. Remember, information is power. And last but not least, multi-purpose tools. These are items that serve more than one function, saving you space and adding versatility to your kit. A good example is a multi-tool, which could include a knife, a can opener, a screwdriver, and more, all in one compact package. With these supplies, you can be prepared for a variety of disaster scenarios. It's all about planning ahead, being adaptable, and making the most of the space you have. Remember, your apartment isn't just your home, it's your fortress. And with the right supplies, it can be a fortress that's ready for anything. Beyond the basics, there are also some innovative ways to use your limited space effectively. Let's dive into some additional tips that can help you make the most of your apartment space during a disaster. One of the key strategies is vertical gardening. This allows you to grow your own food within a small footprint. Think about growing herbs, leafy greens, and even some fruits and vegetables on walls, shelves, or hanging planters. It's not only a practical solution for food production, but also a natural air purifier that can boost your mood and overall well-being. Next, consider convertible or multi-purpose furniture. A bed with built-in storage, a dining table that doubles as a workspace, or a couch that transforms into a guest bed can save significant space. It also creates hidden areas to store your emergency supplies without making your apartment look cluttered. In a small apartment, every square foot counts. So, why not use the space under your bed or couch for storage? These spaces are often overlooked but can be a great place for storing extra water, food, or other essential supplies. Another important tip is to keep your supplies organized. This way, you can quickly find what you need in an emergency. Use clear, labeled containers for your supplies and consider creating an inventory list to keep track of what you have and what you might need to replenish. Don't forget about your balcony or patio if you have one. 
This space can be used for a variety of purposes such as growing food, collecting rainwater, or even as an extra storage area. Lastly, remember the importance of community. In an apartment setting, your neighbors can be a valuable resource. Building relationships now can lead to a strong support network during a crisis, allowing you to pool resources and provide mutual aid. These tips can help you make the most of your apartment space during a disaster. Remember, it's not about the size of your space, but how you use it. With a little creativity and planning, you can transform your apartment into a well-prepared, resilient haven ready to face any challenge. Prepping in an apartment doesn't mean compromising on safety or readiness. As we've explored today, apartment living in a SHTF scenario presents unique opportunities for community support, efficient security, and resource sharing. Of course, there are challenges too. Limited space and high density require us to be strategic with our supplies and vigilant about potential risks. But remember, every situation, every living condition has its own set of hurdles. The key to survival is not the absence of challenges, it's the ability to anticipate and prepare for them. Whether it's grid failures, natural disasters, or civil unrest, there are ways to navigate through these adversities. From compact water filtration systems to multi-purpose tools and vertical gardens, there are countless innovative solutions tailored for small spaces. By preparing intelligently, we can turn any apartment into a resilient haven, ready to withstand any disaster. Remember, preparation today ensures survival tomorrow.